going on everybody? I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. It is now summertime, everything's happening, everything's bloomed, and grass is growing like crazy. One thing that is always going to happen during the summer though is you always want to go swimming. Today we're putting up the swimming pool for the year. I have some plans this year that I want to improve on the swimming pool, however, it's not going to happen right now. I want to try to create like a solar powered heater for it like a bunch of coils on a plywood background or something like that and just see how that works but today the main thing i want to get done is putting up the pool So when I got this tarp, I thought it was a 12 by 20 tarp, but I think it's only a 10 by 20. I think it'll still be fine, but we won't be able to tell until the pool is actually up in here. And I don't even think that it being a little bit short on one side will be any kind of big deal. It's just to help with some of the coverage on the ground, holding it from rocks and stuff like that. But it's pretty well raked up and everything, and there's sand all over the ground anyway from last year. So everything should be fine. One thing that I'm really surprised about is how dirty this has gotten just over the winter, not even being out being used or anything. It was put up, stored, and it just got dirty, I guess, from dust and everything else in the air. Well, that's it. The pool is completely assembled. Now I just gotta go around and stretch it out and make sure it's in the right spot. Pull all the legs out. This pool was like $300. It's actually 14 feet in diameter, not 12 like I figured. The tarp will be fine where it's at. Everybody will enjoy it. Nobody, hopefully there's no holes in it. We had last year no holes. Hopefully this year there's no holes right now. So now all I gotta do is go ahead and start filling it up with some water, straighten out at the bottom and everything, and get this grass mode too. So now it's the most critical part of the whole pool assembly is trying to get it where there's no wrinkles in the bottom. I fail at it every year. There's always a couple bad wrinkles in here. And then when it starts filling up, I can always see that for some reason, a pool is always sloped towards this way, towards the camera. I don't know why it's like that. Every year I try to re-level it. Just like this year, I've spent a couple days re-leveling it, checking it out. I think it's still slightly sloping this way. Not a big deal. It's just one of those little things that just can't be right. So on a side note of our pool getting filled up and us getting that ready for the year, we've also had our grape bush come back again this year. It had died a little bit over the winter and lost part of its little tree thing right, right here if you can see. But it started sprouting out again, one out of the actual ground. 
and then oh. one out of the branch. Hopefully this year we'll get something off of it, at least a little bit. I had a couple little bundles last year that I tried and it was really good. So one thing that I went ahead and did while I was out here around the great bush, I did this last year. I went ahead and used zip ties around some of the main branches trying to help not hold it up but kind of show it where it's got to go because it'll have these pieces right here that'll wrap around the fence post or the chain link fence and having it kind of close to the chain link fence with the zip ties really helps kind of guide it along as you can see here's one that I had from last year just kind of helping holding it up these will kind of go around it here's some of the old pieces right here that were holding it this bush got huge last year almost 20 feet in length so I was really happy with it hopefully it'll do good again this year So I just got done mowing and I wanted to go ahead and check on the pool before the sun set and I certainly am glad that I did. We have a couple small leaks. I came over and saw this bit of water right there and I started checking around and I have a small leak over here in this corner somewhere. They're very, very small but then again, a small leak can let out a lot of water. Just look at all that that's right there. I mean, over time, that's not gonna settle. That's not gonna seal with the weight of the pool. So I've got some research to do. I gotta go online and try to figure out if there is some kind of patch that I can put on with water inside the pool. If not, I'm glad I stopped. I can drain the rest of this water out and go ahead and patch it after it dries. I looked at just getting another pool, another 14 foot by 48 inch pool. That is not an option. They're like $300. Can't be spending $300 every year on a pool. That just doesn't make sense. I've already looked at a couple patches. I don't know if they're able to be applied where the pool is wet, but the patches are only like $15 or something like that. So it just makes more sense to get a patch system instead of a new pool that would be crazy that money could go to something else and we spend 15 20 dollars on some patches if it doesn't work then we can look at other options that's a bummer i really wanted to get it so that the kids could swim this weekend but it doesn't look like that is going to happen unless there's somewhere local that has those patches if you guys know of anything that is available on the market that you can apply where there's water in the side of the pool you know leave it in the comment section down below i'd really like to know i'd like to get this pool working this weekend yeah guys thanks for watching i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend we got some other stuff we got to do this weekend a bunch of housework hopefully we'll do some fun stuff around maybe a little traveling out somewhere who knows stay tuned guys thanks for joining hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button as always guys i appreciate you guys watching See you guys on the next video.